Yo, it's Cairo Apps. No, it's Kyle from Cairo Apps. Um, as I've been doing for the almost past week, it's the sixth day of Exco Tutorial Week. It's almost over tomorrow. Sorry, Sunday will be the last day of this awesome week that we've been having. Um, all the past tutorials will be on my channel, so go check out them if you need any more help. But this is all about making a real clock. Uh, real time, it's basically a clock. So let's get straight into it. Open up Xcode and create a new project. Make sure it is a single view application and we're going to call this clock. As always, I will be using the iPhone as a device and storyboards uh, because it's just new. Err. Uh, save it to the desktop for easy access and go into the .h file. As always, we have the notepad for you guys to follow along if you don't want to download the source file. Uh, open up the brackety things. Wonderful, just love calling them that. And close them. Inside the brackets, write IB outlet, UI label, we're going to call it the label and NS timer star timer and semicolon on both. Um, outside the bracket, write void update timer semicolon now go into the dot m file and double uh, press the enter and write void uh, closing bracket, update, timer, did I have a capital on that? And open the bracket and close them. Oh, that's why. There. Um, inside here, write NS, date, Formatter, star formatter equals two opening brackets, ns date formatter allocate, I think that's how you say it, close one bracket, I and uh, I in it, in it, and a semicolon. Next line. I open one bracket, formatter, set, date, format, and this is where you write the format. Like, if you just want to have the hours and minutes, you can write hours and minutes. If you just want to have minutes and seconds, you just write seconds and minutes and seconds. If you just want to have seconds, just write seconds. But we're going to be doing hours, semicolon, minutes, and seconds and close the bracket and a semicolon. Next write label whoops dot text equals open one bracket formatter string from date uh, open one bracket and write ns date and date and close sorry close two brackets and the semicolon and that's it for inside there so now in the view did load we just take out the uh, comments and write mm -hmm. timer equals opening bracket ns timer Scheduled mm -hmm. 
tire with interval and the interval is going to be uh, 0 0.5 the target is going to be self the selector is going to be uh, uh, at selector and update timer whoops that was wrong there user info uh, nil repeats yes close the bracket and a semicolon and that's it for your uh, code there um, now we just have to go into the main storyboard and I'm just going to close that. Uh, go to the attributes, click on the view, sorry, and then go to the attributes. Uh, set the size to 3.5 interface, I mean, sorry, orientation, portrait, and status bar. I'm going to set it to translucent black. So down here, we have to drag in a label. And let's just, sorry guys, that was my phone. Uh, let's make this really big and center it. Set the text to really big. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And in the uh, utilities, sorry, not the UI utilities, the connections, write the label. So we click the label and drag it over to your label. Now we're going to run it in the iPhone simulator. And let's go check what's wrong. Okay, I obviously did not read this. That said label. There we go. So now the simulator will pop up. And we have an issue here. Hold on, guys. Let me just go find out. Oh, right. Forgot to uh, deselect that since we changed the actual name of it. So drag the label onto your label. Then run this in the simulator. And there you go. It is actually showing the hour which is 6, the minute which is 16, and the seconds it is at which is 45. So this will continue for however long you have it set to and when it goes to 617 it will change this uh, just like that. So that is how you make a real-time clock um, or timer if you want to say for your app. I hope you guys like this tutorial and all of our past tutorials. Please select the subscribe button up, up top so you can get all my new videos that will be coming out. And as always, please, if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments section below or Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.